Hello, I'm Dr. Natalie Bittuturi, and today we're talking about the problem of procrastination. Most of us struggle with this. It's a huge obstacle, and we need to learn how to get around it. There is Parkinson's law. Parkinson's law is work expands to fill the time available for its completion. That means when you have a task to do and you say, I'll do it by Friday, and today is Monday, you're not going to do it in two hours. You're going to spend a whole week of it burdening your mind thinking about all the different complicated things you could add to it, what you could search about it, what you need to do, what you should do, what you could do, and it becomes this big scary task in your mind. And on Thursday night is when you start to panic and actually do it. It's also a law that people use when they're booking meetings. If you book a one hour meeting with one point on the agenda, it will take you one hour to get through that agenda. If you book the same meeting for 15 minutes with that one point, I assure you, you could get it done in 15 minutes. So part of procrastination is accepting it. It doesn't help if you're like, I procrastinate so much and you beat yourself up about it, but you still wait till Thursday night to do the thing. Something I learned about myself early is I am a procrastinator. So when I know a deadline is Friday morning and I'm most likely going to do it on Thursday, I don't start stressing about it on Monday or Tuesday. I should have done it. I should think about it. I should do a bit of it. Maybe I should do it now. I'm going to do it on Thursday in the evening. I know that. I accept it about myself. I'm going to feel stressed. I'm going to feel rushed. I'm going to beat myself up about why didn't you start this earlier? But I know I'm going to get it done. So I think a good tip is first, don't waste time procrastinating in your mind about the procrastination. You're now just adding double loss. Figure out, this is when I need something to get done. This is how long it should take me to do. Let me schedule it and put it in my calendar. This is when I'm going to get it done. It saves you a lot of time and energy and self-talk that's just taking you in circles. Another thing is you should compete with yourself, not with other people. So if someone else can do something in two hours, it doesn't mean you will have to do it in two hours. You'll take the time that you're going to need to do it. So another point problem of procrastination is, eh, look, this is how someone else has gotten it done. Um, for example, like if you want to start working out more, you start looking at all the people who go to the gym or every day you pass this gym and you're like, eh, those people work out so much. They work out for two hours a day. My goodness, they come here five days a week. I need to be like them. One day I'll be like them. I'll come to the gym and I'll work out for two hours and I'll come five days in a row. And then you think about it and you keep thinking about it and you keep procrastinating about it and you never do it. If you tell yourself, let me go to the gym today. I'm only going to go just to look around the gym just to see, you know, understand, maybe see things, what I would be able to do in the gym. Am I a treadmill person? Do I need to do weights? Talk to a trainer, understand how much the gym will cost. Just go and see. And then the next day you can say, I'll go for 10 minutes. I don't want to overstress myself. I know I'm not used to the gym things. I'm not yet at that two hour stage. Let me just go for 10 minutes today, run a little bit, and then I can go home. It sounds like it's nothing to you, but the truth is, you're not in competition with the people who go to the gym every day for two hours. You're comp in competition with yourself of yesterday who didn't go to the gym at all. So do those 10 minutes. Do the five minutes first. First, just walk around. Just get used to being there and feeling comfortable. These are useful steps to help you to achieve what you want. You don't dismiss them because they look too small. A good way to tackle procrastination is to break down tasks into small, small pieces. So if we put this all together, Say you have an interior design shop and you want to price all the stock before you open the shop. So you could either give yourself a month to do this task and say, I'm going to look at competitors. I'm going to walk around other shops. I'm going to look on Google. I'm going to make lists and look at the average and then figure it all out. Or you could give yourself till tomorrow night. By the time I go to bed tomorrow, I will have priced all these items. You just give yourself the deadline. The work will contract itself and it will still get done in that small amount of time that you're given it. If you give yourself a month, it will take you a month for sure. And it's not likely that your results will be much higher. It's also less likely that you actually put in an effort over the whole month. Set yourself a really short deadline. Say if something is due next week on Wednesday, you're going to give yourself three hours on Tuesday to get it done. And that's it. That's the only time your brain is going to waste focusing on that task, thinking about it, planning, or maybe I could, maybe I should. Just contract it into a small time frame and do it. The other way to help you is break it down into something small, like going to the gym for five minutes. It sounds crazy, but if you're someone who never goes to the gym, that five minutes is a win. And wins help you. They get you 
momentum and confidence once you've done five minutes the next day you're like eh, i can do 10 the next day oh now i can do 20 minutes and that's how you build you don't wake up and go to the gym for two hours otherwise you'll be sore and in pain and you'll never go back so break it into small tasks that are not scary because sometimes when we procrastinate it's because we've built it up in our mind it's so much it's so big how am i ever gonna write this report how am i ever gonna do this pricing how am i ever gonna figure out how to work out and be those fit people Break it down into something small. I just need to write one sentence of the report. I'll start the first sentence today, then I'll do a paragraph tomorrow. Break it down into small manageable tasks that are not like a mountain to your mind. Something that's simple that you can just do. And then contract the time that you put into it. Give yourself a deadline that's clear and that's soon. And just force yourself to get it done. You know you've done this before when you've procrastinated and waited to the last minute, but you still somehow did it. You still somehow submitted in time. So you have the ability. You're just wasting all your time and energy beating yourself up about things and how you get things done. Accept this is who you are. This is a part of your personality. Let's see how to work around it. Break things down into small, not scary tasks and then contract the time that you give yourself to do it. I hope that helps.